Hello everyone, you're in my kitchen this time. And uh, at work today, I decided to pick up one of these uh, coffee makers. These uh, single single cup types of uh, coffees. Uh, in this case, this is uh, milk chocolate. So, uh, I've been uh, trying this out and I have to say, really, really nice coffee maker. It does cost a bit more, but uh, with my uh, employee discount, I got this for about half price. That includes with everything that I got for it. Uh, one thing I will say is that, yes, if you do get this, you don't have to buy these, uh, these individual packs. Uh, over here is uh, the little thing that you put your own coffee grounds in here. Now, I heard that use uh, more coarser ground types of coffee for this so it doesn't clog but uh, as long as you do that you can just use that but the way this works is that you lift this up and let's see how big the cup I usually use uh, there are eight ounce cups which is over here this is what I use there are uh, eight I use uh, eight ounce uh, f because where I live, the tap water tastes like garbage. It, it it just it just tastes like you're drinking out of the hose. So I uh, just use bottled water. Fill it up to the eight ounce mark. Got that. Close the lid the cup in here Let's see turn that on now you're going to hear bubbles inside because moving the water inside and what's really nice about this so you take one of these you just uh, drop it in there and it pokes the holes it needs to now when it's blue here press it and now it's going to heat up the water this now they got larger models this is actually the small one this is more like a personal use because I'm the only one that would drink coffee so a personal use would be perfectly fine for me but they got larger reservoir versions but uh, this one only goes up to 8 ounces or 10 ounces so uh, yeah within uh, 2 minutes I'm going to have a, a hot cup of cocoa. Now, at first, when I heard about these, and I noticed that people were buying them, you know, I kept asking, is, uh, is it really worth having one? They all kept saying, yes, it is because I've had other coffee makers. I had, the one I have before is a uh, Hamilton Beach Brew Station, which is like an all-in-one contained type of thing. The problem was, you know, you have to measure the amount of coffee, and not only that, you know, they say it's cheaper, but if you have to waste a certain amount of coffee, if you're the only one that drinks coffee in the house, this actually makes more sense. You pay the device heavy up front, but then you buy these things, which each box costs about about ten dollars, roughly, or ten fifteen dollars, depending on where you get it at. For me, of course, I would get it cheaper. And look at that; it's done. There's my hot cup of cocoa sitting right there. Now, of course, when you're done, you can just uh, turn it off the button there. Lift this up, grab this thing, and this thing just goes in the garbage. So you just take this, throw it in there, and you're done. You don't ha you don't really have to uh, uh, recite uh, redo the thing. Though some people say it is worth doing that, 
just to clean it out. So what I do, I just uh, dump some in there, close it, put this up. There's done. Close it. Press that. And this thing is really, really hot. You can just put your hand over it, and you're going. You're just going to feel the heat coming out. Now, for me, I usually like to let this sit for about five minutes. That way, it's that way the temperature is warm enough, but not hot enough to burn my mouth. So it's going to. Uh, brew again but it's not really brewing anything it's just it's just gonna flush it out and that also helps it keep everything running smoothly it doesn't clog but yeah I'm really really impressed with this thing I'm actually kind of glad I got this After it's done, just uh, take this uh, hot water, dump it out, and you're done. So yeah, I just wanted to show you the new coffee maker I got. I know it's not really gaming related or anything like that, but uh, I just wanted to show you that real quick.